Honorable Minister of Education, Mr. Mohammed um, Bali Rahman, Executive Director and good friend and dear friend uh, of uh, NAFTEC, uh, Mr. Chima, ambassadors, members of the international communities here in Islamabad, and it is so heartwarming to see members of 23 delegations here gathered, uh, gathered in this room because I really want to express my deepest thanks that you made this way to exchange your experience uh, because uh, the technical vocational training, what we're doing here, this is close to many of our hearts. I do not want to repeat what my dear friend, um, the ambassador of Norway said, but I would like to uh, focus on a few very brief ideas. Yesterday, for me personally, was one of the most impressive days here in Islamabad. Why? Because UNDP presented the Youth Development Report. This is a big report. They have been working on this for three years, I think, and it was a very impressive demonstration. But it was also a demonstration which brought again to our minds how very important technical vocational training is and to put it in a broader perspective. Now, because there are so many international participants here, let me elaborate a little bit on the broader perspective in which TIVIT must be embedded. This country, as Mr. Chima said, has 210 million inhabitants. In the year 2050, the country will have 400 million inhabitants. Already now, close to 3 million young people between the age of 15 and 30 will enter into the labor market every year. By the year 250, it will be 100 million young people who will enter into the labor market. Now, this report of yesterday says that 64% of Pakistan's population, and this will not change, in the future are between 15 and 29 years of age. Now, TIVIT is one part of it. But yesterday it became clear to me, and that's why I'm very happy Minister of the Minister of Education is here, that TIVIT starts earlier. TIVIT starts already at the age of six. TIVIT starts already with small children be in school, being in schools and getting a good education because what you have in the Technical Vocational Training Center, Mr. Chima, these are 15, 16, 17, 18 year old who are coming from a school system. Now, many Pakistani children cannot go to school, unfortunately, uh, with 64% of, uh, of the population being, uh, being younger population, it's also very difficult to achieve an enrollment growth uh, overnight. As of now, the enrollment growth at the primary schools stands at 1%. Now, if the Pakistani government follows a zero children out of school policy, that every child should go to school with the enrollment growth, it will take until the year 2076 that every Pakistani child goes to school and then after this going into the part of them to the vocational training system. And that's uh, one of my messages, um, uh, Mr. Minister in particular, to increase the enrollment rate at school. If it's increased to 1.6% every, uh, every year, then even then you need until the year 2050 to get all kids at school. If you want to have kids at school, all Pakistani kids at school, by the year 2030, the enrollment growth must be 4%, only the growth. Now, I, I mention this point because this becomes clearer with every year that you need good trained people in the technical vocational training center we are happy to support. Now, the question in the education field, technical vocational training, I, I also would say these are the three E's for the Pakistani youth. The first E is education. The second E is employment. And the third E is engagement of the young people. And technical vocational training stands for the first two E's, the education and the employment. Whenever you talk, and we talk a lot, all my ambassadors are traveling in the country. I make it a point to go to technical vocational training centers in each and every city I'm visiting. Uh, Minister, I was with you in Bahawalpur. 
So also there I went to a technical vocational training in Multan, everywhere. Now if you talk to the young people in the TIVIT centers, there are also three points in the discussion. This is wealth, this is health, but this is also knowledge. So this knowledge-based education in a very engaged, in a very committed youth here in Pakistan is very important. And um, the politicians also in this country, but everywhere, should are well advised to engage them and to use the positive elements of this youth bulge. Yes, it is a challenge, but of course, it's also a positive element. Coming back to the technical vocational training, and I'm very happy uh, to see many, many of you uh, here today. Um, the first point I would like to make is it should be quality education. Education only producing numbers to be able then to say, oh, we have several hundred thousand technical vocational training schools, this is not enough. They must be well trained. Let me convey to you an impression I have whenever I travel in the Gulf area. Taxi drivers, gardeners, construction workers, usually in Qatar, in Abu Dhabi, in Dubai, they are Pakistanis. When it comes to higher trained functions, like you check in in the hotels, there you see Filipinas, Filipinos, Indonesians, and other nations. I think one has to work on this. That's why I insist on the point of, of quality education also in the, technical, in the technical vocational training system. Not only to, pro to produce numbers, yes, one has to produce numbers, but one also has really to look forward and to, to, have, uh, to look ahead and also to enforce a quality education in the technical vocational training centers. Why should the Gulf receptionist at any hotels not be Pakistanis? In five and ten years from now, I want to, say an e to see an equal number of Filipinos and Pakistanis in a hotel in Abu Dhabi or in Dubai or in Oman or wherever. Now, the second point is the engagement in the technical vocational training sector should be demand-driven, not supply-driven. Do not, we should not, and the Pakistanis, uh, the Pakistani Naftek, you Mr. Chima know it very well, not produce something for the sake of producing uh, in terms of uh, tech, uh, trained people, but also to have it supply driven. What does the country need? And you made the point already, the inclusion of the private sector, I think this is very important to have the private sector engaged in the technical vocational tra training because only they know what is needed in the market in one, two, three, four years to go. Private sector engagement is extremely important. You see in Germany, the German example is the so-called dual vocational training system. So a young man, a young woman, they go as an apprentice to Mercedes or to BMW, and the company is obliged, obliged to release them for two days for a technical vocational training school. And the companies have the influence on the curricula. The companies, the private sector, know what is needed on the market. The state cannot determine it. And I think it's very important to, to focus on this element of supply-driven private sector engagement, technical vocational training. Well, I'm very happy. I think I see also a Chinese delegation here. And um, here you are. I particularly welcome you because in our discussions internally and publicly, um, the uh, Chinese-Pakistani economic corridor, the CPEC, uh, really belongs uh, to the topics we are discussing on a daily basis. There is a lot of Chinese engagement here in the country. Roads are built, uh, uh, energy projects, uh, specialized economic zones. In these specialized econ economic zones, uh, I at the end hope also non-Chinese companies are able to operate, but they all need vocational training. And I'm happy to see the Board of Investment uh, uh, here also represented in this conference. Where are you? I, I've, seen you uh, I've seen you when coming in. I think it's very important uh, to take care of this chance and to get a Chinese commitment, engagement also in the technical vocational training system, but it should be based on, an equal, uh, on, on equal rules, on equal regulations. I think Chinese engagement, 
the role of CPAC and the interaction with whoever is uh, interested here in, in vocational training. This is of utmost importance because this gives chances, this gives opportunities. My almost last point is the question of, well, the uh, cooperation um, with uh, third countries. And this, I hope, will be also a topic here in, in, uh, in this international conference on Tibet. At the end, with such a growing population, Pakistan, I'm convinced, will always be dependent of, on exporting young people for labor somewhere else. Now, this is, has to be done, of course, in a legal way and not in an illegal way, not in, in, with the, I mean, uh, just of uh, illegal um, migration here, but in an organized legal way. In particular, the Gulf countries will always absorb Country, uh, absorb young Pakistanis who work in their countries. And I think a kind of triangular cooperation between the international community, between Pakistan, and in particular with Gulf countries who also know what they are going to need in five years, in 10 years, in 15 years to come is, is quite important. The question uh, which was already mentioned uh, by my Norwegian uh, uh, friend and uh, ambassador was the participation of women. I think it's of utmost importance that we always gender mainstream this. And I put this question, maybe I'm not very popular in the, in the uh, technical vocational training and the schools because I always put the same questions. How many, what's the percentage of women here? If I'm told it's culturally not adequate, I ask why. I try to understand the reasons behind. I think the importance of having women partic participating in the labor force is of, is of utmost importance here. Now, I would like to conclude by, by, thanking, by thanking all of you. Mr. Jima, you are doing a wonderful job here. Uh, coordinating everybody, bringing this conference together. I also would like to uh, thank my colleagues here from the international community who are so committed. I volunteered uh, to be the shepherd for the international community for, uh, for some months uh, until uh, mid-year to coordinate the international activities also, or to try to coordinate. I do, not, I do know that we are not always easy partners. We always put questions and so, and sometimes you get mixed messages. It's important that as international community, dear colleagues who are in the room, that we stand as development partners, and I here would say development friends, and you mentioned it twice. I truly am convinced that this is a kind of professional, personal friendship which evolved over the times between international community members and your good self and uh, with, with you, Minister, because it's very close to our hearts. And my last word, this really goes to uh, the Pakistani decision makers, um, but also to the Pakistani youth, uh, youth uh, NGOs, uh, civil society. Pakistan has proven that Pakistan is able to do it. This we can do mentality. There are several examples in, in the country. When I see that the National Action Plan Minister foresees 7% spent on education by 2009, and today I see that it's just close to 3% of the GDP spent for education, I only can say, I mean, there is still room for improvement. And only 3% are spent on technical vocational training. I think Pakistan proved during its history, it proved during its history that you can make it if there is a political will. And it has to come on the political agenda to take care of the young population, the 64% below the age of, uh, of, of 60, uh, 64. Now, Pakistan produced, just to give you an example, 11,000 megawatt additional power in the last four years to the Pakistani grid. In the 60 years from independence of Pakistan until four years ago, it was 18,000 megawatt. Now within four years, Pakistan added 11,000 megawatt. If there is a political will, Pakistan can do it. Bas And with this, I, I would like to close to put technical vocational training, and I would like to come back to my first remark. Technical vocational training starts at the age of six. 
because already the early kind of training of children in primary schools determines their fate, determines the standard uh, of knowledge they have later in the technical vocational training. Thank you very much once again for this excellent occasion to interact. Pakistan Zindabad. <laughs>